I was uh, listening to a debate whether, you know, schools should be armed and everybody, teachers and principals in a school should be armed. Well, I said there must be a better way. And then, you know, it occurred to me that we have this technology and that is one way of at least uh, keeping the bad guys out. The objective of this project was to design a radar system that could detect explosive and concealed weapons that some people may carry as they enter public places. If you go to the airports, for example, they put you, let's say, in a scanner, and there you have to stay stationary, and it takes time for them to image your body. The idea here was to come up with a device that could do that without stopping people, and do it you know, from a far distance. So how does this system work? So we take the frequency response of the human body as, as it works, so it, it becomes sort of a function of time. So the time frequency analysis that we do creates a signature which we call um, human walk DNA. All the features of the human gait, for example, can be captured in that. So you can, for example, distinguish a, a slow person from a fast person, a person in a bicycle from, let's say, a dog or a person that is walking. And we use that in conjunction with another technique, which we call radar polarimetry, in order to identify objects. The backscatter from human body does not produce much of cross-polarized unless you are having an irregular objects that you're carrying with you. That becomes a telltale of that this person is carrying something. And that person, for example, can be pulled aside and further interrogated. The potential use of this originally was envisioned for, for military application, but now with the recent disasters that we have observed in the school shootings and other uh, type of incidents, uh, I think you know, this can be utilized at airports, it can be utilized at uh, stadiums, wherever you know, that there is a large group of people that you, know, you want to protect. That is a perfect scenario where you could take a look at all people who are coming through one by one. And you know, the measurements uh, with this system doesn't take more than a few microseconds. So as quickly as you can move people through that gate, as many, this is as many as people you can interrogate with this system.